there's sort of two ways you could go about it. You can, um, you might decide that a schedule um, is a way for you to go and that's really where you're looking, you know, hour by hour, this is what we're gonna do in each block of time. Or your student may work better with a checklist. These are the must do's for today. These are the, if I have time, these are the, you know, if, if I um, want to. And you may have to do a little bit of trial and error to figure out which one works best for your student. When you're working with establishing a routine, um, include your student in that. Let, let them have some buy-in. And one of the biggest mistakes that I see families making is that they don't um, schedule in breaks. So they don't think about time, brain breaks, just you know, five minutes to get up, walk away from their work, um, you know, move their body. They don't schedule in time for eating. They don't schedule in their family priorities. So if you have um, you know, a soccer practice or you have something going on in your life, they don't schedule that in. And then there's this overwhelmed feeling when schoolwork bleeds into that time. So if you think about all of those things and schedule around it, then you avoid that frustration in the moment.